Here's a great question from Irene. I have myeloma with amyloid or amyloidosis and it is affecting my kidneys. The nephrologist wants me to start peritoneal dialysis. I'm concerned about how much my body can take starting kyprolis or carfilzomib. Well, we know that there are a fraction of myeloma patients who have also coexisting amyloidosis. This is where the light chains that are in the blood uh, go through a bit of a conformational change and deposit in the kidney. And so AL or amyloid light chain amyloidosis can actually be a completely separate condition from myeloma or it can coexist. And when they coexist, we look for the one that is, if you will, more dominant to be able to treat. But nonetheless, here, when a patient does have to go on to dialysis, it does make it more complicated. I'm not gonna deny that. It, it can be very challenging. Peritoneal dialysis sometimes is easier than hemo or blood dialysis because it can be controlled by the patient themselves and they do it on their own, so there are less frequent visits to the dialysis unit. And we know a lot of our myeloma treatments can be given while on dialysis because a third of myeloma patients have kidney dysfunction and about 10% of them have true kidney failure. So we can do this. And that drug that was mentioned, carfilzomib or kyprolis, can be given uh, when someone is on dialysis. We trust uh, that this will go well for you.